Sunday the 7th of August 2016, at shortly after 7 o'clock in the morning, is the last sighting we're aware of of Michael Martin alive. Greater Manchester Police's investigation is still very much ongoing and we're appealing for anybody with information to come forward and assist us with our inquiries. Here's a message from Michael's mother, Karen. Michael was a popular child. He loved his football. He loved going to the gym. He loved socialising. He got on with everybody. He was just one of them really, really good kids that grew up, took their own path, um, which got him into some trouble. But everybody loved him. Everybody got on with him. He was just a special lad. He did what he, he, did what he could to help in any way. Um, we all miss him. I seen him on the Wednesday and he was happy. Asked him what he was doing. He was going out meeting up with some friends. And we had a hug and we had a kiss. And that was the last time I seen him. And that was the Wednesday before he disappeared on the Saturday. I've not seen him since. It's been torture. Every single day. I know he's out there somewhere. And to never be able to see him, or speak to him, or hug him, or tell him how much I love him. Again, it's a nightmare every, every day. Anybody with any information, please come forward. You don't have to give your name, you can do it anonymously. But you have to do this, you have to have a conscience, you cannot live with this. We need to know, we're never going to be at rest until we find out where my son is. And that's all we want, we just want to bring him home. We want some closure on our son, no matter what's happened to him, no matter how gruesome or awful it is. I still need him home. I believe and I know that there is people out there that know his whereabouts, that are keeping quiet about it, which is an awful thing to do. But if they do know anything, they need to get into contact because there is a lot of people that I believe do know his whereabouts and actually what has happened to him. And all I can say is, please, please, for God's sake, please just come forward. You don't have to give your name, you can do it anonymously, but you have to do the right thing from my point of view and anybody else's point of view that is going through what we are going through as a family.